Hi, this is Lisa Mae DeMacy with another Equus Film Festival web chat here with very accomplished wild horse photographer, Kelly J. Welcome, Hello. Kelly. Thank you very much. It's so good to have you here. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. Kelly, your incredible body of work to date is of the Onaqui herd of wild mustangs who have lived in the Onaqui Mountains and wilderness area of the West Desert of Utah. What is it about these horses that draws you to follow them with such intimacy? Well, it's actually the Onaki and Onaki Mountain. You. And I met them first 15 years ago, and I have been in love with them ever since. I was never able to get close to them back in 2005 to 2008 when I photographed them because they were very protective. And over the years, they've come to trust me. They've come to know me. I don't know if they know my face or my smell or my Jeep, but they have, we've established a level of trust and now they let me get close to their babies. They let me uh, get into their space and they let me photograph the intimate moments between them that most people don't even know exist. There's so much expression in their faces. I mean, in their body language and their face, faces, what, like the images that you capture. Yeah, that, that's what I look for. I, I look for those tender moments between mother and foal. I look for those um, horrible moments when stallions fight. Uh, body language there, uh, you can, it starts from the very beginning when they start lowering their ears, lowering their heads, stomping their feet. You know something's going to happen. And then, of course, the little foals. They, they love to play with each other and their body language is their tails are up and their ears are up and they just prance like like they were born yesterday they they are beautiful to watch nice they are They're, your, your work's amazing thank um, you the breadth of your work with these wild mustangs depicts them in various forms and poses like we were just saying a stallion standing alone and intensely star staring into your camera a herd on the run two mares duking it out to win alpha your festival entry is west desert daycare which depicts three foals lying in long grasses at rest. Can you tell us why you chose this photograph? It kind of depicts the family life of the wild Mustang. Uh, most people think of just the stallions fighting and that's, that's all they care to photograph. But what I've learned is they're so family oriented that in a, in a family band with one stallion and several mares, a lot of the mares can have babies the same, at the same time or near the same time. And what they do is the, the babies will be in a little collection like that and the, they're, they're surrounded by their herd. And if they're not surrounded and the mother is off eating or the stallion is off guarding, there's always siblings or another mother that are right there with the babies watching out for them. So there'll be a little clump of foals sometimes. And I just thought that epitomized the family life of a wild Mustang. Wonderful. Uh, it, it's really just breathtaking, your, your work. Um, is there anything else that you'd like us to know about wor your work, like along inspirational lines or why you keep doing it? Why I keep doing it is um, I started the Facebook page back in 2013, so I photographed them for quite a long time just sharing my pictures with my family and friends. And um, the reason I keep doing it is sometimes out here in the wintertime I suffer from depression and if anything I say I've lost my joy. If I ever lose my joy, all I have to do is go out to the Anaki herd and I find it again. They speak to my soul. Um, they put things in perspective for me and they just are soothing in a way that I've not found anything else to be. I've taken friends of mine that are depressed or sad or, or in a bad situation. I've taken them out to see the horses and it's changed their life. It sounds like I'm being extreme when I say it, but they, to see the whole entire herd, to sit in the middle of them and have them walking all around you, listening to them chew, listening to the wickers and knit and whinnies, it's life changing. It's actually life changing. You mentioned your presence on Facebook. 
Could you tell us all the places where we could find your work? Sure. I'm on Facebook under Kelly J Photography, and that's just Kelly J A Y. Um, and I'm also on Instagram under Kellith K E L L I T H. Great. Um, any last words you'd like to offer before we sign off? Uh, just do your best to educate yourself about wild mustangs and and if you ever get the opportunity to come out west and uh, see some herds the Anaki aren't the only herd around but they're one of the most accessible but it you will never be sorry that you came out to see wild mustangs wonderful well thank you so much Kelly for your time today and again we, we just you. love your work thank you for being part of the festival I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.